By now you should know where the functions and controls are on the Sony FX1 and Z1 and how to properly use them. Let's take a look at the advanced features of both cameras. In this next segment we're going to talk about subjects such as color extract and color revision, the cineframe modes, and recallable picture profiles. With picture profiles you'll be able to store and save your favorite presets and recall them at any time. Even though we have follow focus devices available for the HDV camcorders, if the camcorders are using a servo motor on the lens, it's not possible to do a true measure and mark as you may be familiar with in a film camera or a fully manual lens setup. However, these camcorders offer what are called shot transitions, and shot transitions will allow us to create something much like a measure and mark. So let's look at how we set up a shot transition. Underneath the handle, you will see an indicator that says store, check, and execute. And here's where we're going to set up our shot transition. Now currently, I've zoomed in on this American flag here in the foreground. So I'm just going to store this focus point by hitting store and A. And that stores my shot A position. Now I'm going to rotate the focus back so that we can see the small child on the fire truck in the background and hit B. This stores shot B. That's all there is to it. Now we want to check our shot, so let's hit the execute button again, and it puts it into check mode. Let's hit the A indicator, and sure enough, we can see that shot transition taking place. Let's hit the B indicator, and there again is our shot transition taking place. So now it's time to hit the execute button. We put the camera into record mode, And as we film, we now hit our shot transition and it takes place and is recorded to tape. Now it might be that we want the shot transition to go a little bit more quickly than it is currently. We can go into our menu mode or into our P mode. And here in the P mode, we'll select our shot transition and here we can control the transition time. So for instance, let's slow down that transition or speed up that transition. Let's slow it down to four seconds. Let's go into our curve and change our curve so that it's linear. And we don't need a start timer on there, so let's check OK. And once again, let's execute our shot transition. You can see there it takes a little bit longer to transpire. And we can adjust these per shot transition. Shot transitions can be used for any number of different things, but the great thing is we can assign gain or zoom or focus to these shot transitions buttons. So for instance here, I've assigned a change in gain to button number A, as well as a change in the zoom and focus positions. This is great if you're zooming into a background that's a little bit darker or if you're zooming out of a background that is too light or too dark. So you can assign those gain settings. Shot transitions, a great tool to have in your video toolbox.